So just sum up what's happened with Nomura this afternoon. Yeah, so there's two prongs to this that uh, Nomura announced at the close of market at uh, three o'clock here in Tokyo this afternoon. Uh, one side, of course, is, as you just mentioned, the, uh, the large buybacks, 150 billion yen, which is pretty significant. Uh, and the second uh, element to it is that uh, Nomura owns uh, Nomura Research Institutes, which is a, a think tank and sort of a, a technology consultancy firm, has about a, a just under 37% stake uh, in that firm now. And they said they're going to sell uh, 160 billion yen stake uh, in that at a 1,500 170 yen a share, uh, and that'll bring their holding down to 23%. And this is apparently something that uh, they said they've been discussing with uh, Nomura Research in Institute to try and uh, you know, get their uh, their capital efficiency uh, better in that uh, in that holding. Uh, so their stake will uh, will drop to just uh, just over 23%, and uh, Nomura Research Institute will remain an equity uh, method affiliate of Nomura Holdings. Okay, and Gareth, briefly, what are the wider implications for Nomura Group? Yeah, well, of course, Nomura has been uh, in, in the wars recently, so to speak. Uh, they posted a four-year loss uh, back uh, uh, for the year ending uh, in March. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've struggled with their overseas business and they've struggled to sort of, um, you know, over the years since their, uh, their, their purchase of, uh, of Lehman, they've sort of been, uh, you know, on again, off again with overseas business and, uh, you know, really trying to get that, um, that optimal uh, that mix within their business. Uh, and further, further more to that, Nomura, of course, have uh, had this recent problem with, with an embarrassing problem over uh, a leak some information uh, to shareholders, so they've actually been uh, left out of a few uh, a few major deals, including the uh, the very big uh, yep. sale of uh, Japan Post shares. Uh, so they've been yep. struggling, and uh, this, of course, will be positive news for the uh, for the investors. A big buyback, and uh, hopefully some more uh, uh, more efficient use of their uh, their capital.